guys, it's Janet at the 4-H office and today's fun Friday activity. We are making candy launchers today and to make our candy launcher, what we need is some craft sticks, rubber bands, and a spoon. Now this candy launcher or candy catapult actually is a simple machine. It works by lever action, whereby you pull back on your spoon and force and motion are created on the release. So to get started and to be able to launch our candy, we are going to need some large craft sticks. You'll need at least five of these. You'll need some rubber bands. The thicker the better because they'll actually hold up better. A plastic spoon that is fairly bendable. Um, you don't want the rigid plastic spoons because when you pull back you're just going to snap the spoon in half. To get started we need a bundle of three sticks put together in a stack and we're going to put one rubber band at each end of my stack. So it's just like twisting a rubber band or a hair tie to put your hair up in a ponytail and just wrap that right around each end. Once that is complete, we'll move on to our second step where we're going to create kind of a little chopstick device. Um, I like to tell the kids it looks more like a duck's mouth. So two large craft sticks rubber banded with two rubber bands at one end. Now we use two rubber bands because this part will actually take quite a bit of force and we want to hold everything together as our simple lever, our catapult, is in use. And if you can't twist the rubber bands, find an adult or an older teen to help you do so. So two rubber bands at one end. So we have our little chopsticks or a little duck's mouth um, that we are actually going to use to catapult our candy. So step number three, take your bundle of sticks, push it as far down as you can between your chopsticks or your duck's mouth so you create a handle. You want it right in the middle to have a nice balanced handle for your catapult. Step number four, we need to rubber band these two pieces together, but we're going to rubber band on the diagonal and make an X shape with our rubber bands, one on each side. To get started, we just go over the top part of our duck's mouth and around one edge or one side of my handle. So we're just going to wrap this as tight as we can without breaking it. It's okay if it moves, you can push it back into position. You'll just get this as tight as you can, working the handle back into position. And then once you have the one side, we're going to go the opposite way and finish with our second arm of our X. So we're just going to rubber band again tight. Make sure you put your fingers between your duck's mouth so that you don't actually or accidentally rubber band your duck's mouth together. Now this is a great little activity. We're teaching simple machines. We can teach math. We can set up a distance course to launch our candy. And we can also talk a little bit about engineering and what engineers do for careers. This is also a great opportunity if you have a club meeting to have a little STEM project plus a competition and some teamwork going on um, to rebuild their catapults to actually make them go farther and to try to launch different types of candy like candy pumpkins, candy corn, um, marshmallows, something of different sizes, densities to see how far they go and to also talk about the flight path of your candy. Does it take a straight path when you launch it or is it more of an arc? And what does that mean? Does it go any farther if it goes straight? Does it go any farther if it goes in an arc? Lots of science built into this. Okay, next step, our spoons. We want to position our spoons so that the head of the spoon is slightly above the um, craft stick so that it flexes and bends without being blocked by that craft stick. I like four rubber bands on this at least to hold the spoon so it doesn't wiggle. Remember, keep your fingers in between so that you don't rubber band everything together. So you're just going to put on four, get it nice and tight, all the way down the handle of the spoon. And just slide them right down so that your spoon doesn't wiggle. So when you're done, your candy launcher will actually look like this with your spoons. You simply place your candy on the spoon. The hand that you don't write with, I like to hold with a handle. And then the hand that you do write with, pull back and look. This is Janet at the 4-H office with today's simple machine, fun Friday activity, catapult candy launchers. Have a great day.